Hello guys, what's up? We're doing great. I'm Diego, and this time we're gonna react to episode seven of season three of The Legend of Korra, which is called Original Airbenders. As a recap, Lin's psychological battle. Last episode, Old Wounds showed us a deep look into Lin's past with Sue and her mother Toph, which was a great flashback, some really great flashbacks over here, and it really showed how Lin was just so wounded, really, and kind of traumatized by her past and just really not having this really not good at all relationship with her family. Because even though the issues that she had back in the past were, you may argue that they were kind of childish and it's just like these little sisters tantrum, you know? It really is a very personal issue that she was facing because she had some mommy issues. She was very different from her sister, from Sue, and Sue wasn't really the greatest sister and she really gave a bad time to Lynn and Lynn was increasingly getting more and more close to herself and to other people. I mean, even Sue told Lynn just before they have that little battle in the end of the episode that maybe that's the reason why Tenzin just cut things off and that was not cool. It was such a fascinating episode because it really dealt with psychological issues tied into family drama which really makes it very down to earth like very grounded to reality this kind of episode. It was a very emotional and thoughtful episode overall. It really was some fresh breath of air to be honest. Opal is gonna join. Well that's right it's not Opal which I kept repeating through the past two episodes. Opal, Opal. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's Opal. By the end of the episode she has this conversation with Lin and they have this reconciliation and Opal being, being like very understanding of what Lin was going through. I love Opal. 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 And then Sue tells Lin that Opal is going to join the Airbenders. The constellation, the whole way through as a family. Original Airbenders, I am pretty sure just going to be focusing on Tenzin. We haven't we haven't seen them ever since episode 4, I think. So grab a cup of tea. Let's watch it. To eat something, but he refused. Just like he had each day the entire summer. Instead, he simply <laughs> meditated, getting his nourishment uh, from the universe. All of this brings me back to season one with Korra learning airbending. On which island? Anyone besides Otaku who already studied this in his satellite <laughs> training? This is so relatable. This goes back to college. Wheeltail Island! That is correct. Again. <laughs> on day 98. <laughs> hey, you don't laugh at Tenzin. It's our people. Of I course, the cloud of the class. Sorry. I will be paying attention 100% to Tenzin. Respect, please. Please, help me. That's amazing. When do we get to fly around in our own bison like that? Only after many years of practice and intense training. Uh. <laughs> and paying attention. Whoa. Cool, that's a wild herd. It would take many years to tame them. Now let's get back to our lessons. Dad! Interesting. We brought you more airbenders. Oh. God damn, how many airbenders are there? Okay, everyone is dismissed. We'll just <laughs> pick this up. No. Please pay attention. Please tell me. Zahir infiltrated the air temple. What? Yeah, that's right. Is everyone all right? Everyone's fine. I fought with him, but he got away. She really stood up to him. Lakshmir. Guru Lahima. Right. <laughs> Lakshmir. All those gurus straight. There were like a million of them. Remember that long, boring story about the guy who never ate? Yes, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I love the... That Guru Lahima really is the most talked about thing in this whole show, right? We're totally safe. Unless we get caught in another fight between Sue and Lin. We <laughs> took you to her sister? Not exactly. We got a call about a new airbender. Mm -hmm. It turned out to be Sue's daughter, Opal. She'll be headed your way soon. Oh, look really? at Tenzin's eyes. It widened. Wonderful. <laughs> and so smart. And she smells like flowers. <laughs> Butterflies all over. No one seems to be interested in the hard work required to become a part of the air nation. No. You need to give yourself a break. Let Janora and the kids help you out. Yes. Abumi, he was a naval commander. Maybe he has some ideas about how to get people motivated. Umi? He's yes. my worst student. <laughs> you ask him for help, you can trick him into taking more responsibility by making him think the whole thing was yes. his idea. If you guide Boomy the right way, he can be really useful, really resourceful. 
You're turning into a pretty wise avatar after all. Conflict resolution. It's what I do. <laughs> I love the expression on Tenzin's eyes. That was so... I loved it. Come on, let's have some fun. We'll be back before anyone realizes we're gone. Oh, the little two lovers. We're gonna have some adventure. <laughs> My god, those shots are amazing. It really, yo, it really makes the world so much bigger. Be careful, the mothers are very protective. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like meeting dinosaurs. Hi, get out of there! Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Oh, that's really scary. That should be really scary. Get out of the hair. Get out. <laughs> oh wow, wow! They really captured how scary they can be. I've been training for a long time. Then why don't you have tattoos like an airbending master? My dad says I'm not a master yet. If anyone's a master, you are. I love that. <laughs> it's so genuine and innocent between them. I need your help. Oh, yeah? With what? I don't think I'm doing very well with the new airbenders. And no one knows you're a natural leader. <laughs> I love how he's so unconvinced to say this. Leadership award. <laughs> Twice. What would you do if you were in charge? You've got to use military discipline to whip these troops into shape. This guy military discipline, really? <laughs> Rule with an iron fist. Show them who the master is. Thanks for the insight. <laughs> My pleasure. This guy, the joke stir, the prankster, is the military discipline guy. I should never. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God please no. Help me. That should be a nightmare. I'm taking your advice. I'm going to break you down and build you back up. <laughs> what, what is this? Full metal jacket? Nothing like a 10 mile hike first thing in the morning. <laughs> Don't these roads. Please help me. <laughs> Oh my god, I will be the first one just to faint. <sighs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Airbenders are able to warm themselves with only their breathing. I need that. When I said that thing about an iron fist... Hush! Meditation time. <laughs> Focus. Uh. <laughs> I would love to learn meditation because some, that's something I clearly don't master. Gosh, the scenery. Gosh, the scenery. My god, I can't get over it. The key is to maintain your heaven and earth connection. Like a feather. Oh Back wow. Posts. <laughs> it's not hard if you concentrate. Don't give them that speech because they're gonna fall. <laughs> they're gonna have so much pressure. <laughs> What's the matter? You can't handle it, soldier? <laughs> this is this is the guy from Full Metal Jacket. Don't you think you're being a little hard on them? Don't worry, they can take it. Uh, there can be other ways to teach. Concentrate on your breathing and you won't even know they're If this was a live action movie, the the amount of injuries that they would be. Shaved, an airbender is able to feel the wind around him. It is both humbling and freeing. Shh. You should be paying attention. <laughs> Akai never loses his charm, right? Shaving your head is a personal choice. Wait, what? Anyone else? <laughs> what a personal choice. You're pushing too hard. Maybe we should give them a break. Junora, I have this under control. No. Help me. No. Airbenders move like the wind. Ah. Uh, yo. Okay, well, those kids are really enjoying that. Stay light on your feet. Let's go, Kai. I love the music, so intense for practice session. If you don't make it over in the next 30 seconds, they'll all have to run through the course again. Oh, he's having vertigo, right? Let's go! No! Oh, oh. <laughs> my back! Oh, my back! I never wanted to be an airbender, and I'm too old to be back in boat camp. Count oh. me out! Fine, quit! We don't need your attitude in the new air nation. Oh my god. No, this, this shouldn't be happening. You just got here. When's dinner? I'm starving. Yes, yeah, give them a break. This is just as bad as the Earth Queen's prison. I'm tired oh, of all this complaining. Oh, okay, yes. That, that should be telling a lot. I'm the master now? <gasps> yes, just lead them through some basic exercises. 
Well, since I'm a master, when do you think I can get my tattoos? <laughs> and he was asking me, so... Kai, what does he know about when you should get tattoos? The answer is no, you're just a little girl. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know everything about our culture and history, and I have a stronger connection with the spirits than you ever will. Oh. Oh my god. He just can't believe that I'm grown up now and I don't need him telling me what to do like one of his recruits. Yeah, he needs to be a little bit more open-minded, as always. Where did all the spirits go? Where are the babies? Oh! What's happening? Who is this guy? No! What, what the frick? What the frick is happening? Yeah, I was suspecting this episode was too calm for its own good. There those new airbenders. Must be living up in the temple. Hurry up and gather the rest of the gang, and let's get out of here before someone comes looking for these kids. Oh, he looks pretty savage. Where did Where these guys he... come from? Focus. Breathe. Only ruins everything. No, don't say that to yourself. I failed. Rumi quit. And the rest of the airbenders want to go home. Can't they see that I'm trying to rebuild an entire culture? Too much pressure, man. I remember when I moved out of my parents' house to become an air acolyte. That first night, I was so scared and lonely, and the bed was so hard. <laughs> it's actually better for your back. That's true. Had that experience. You have to be patient. Now I know how Cora feels when I'm talking to her. Okay, you're realizing what you're saying, right? Thank you, Bema. I love how human Tenzin is, that they're not afraid to portray him as someone flawed and still has to learn as a teacher. I love that. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> the flying bunny. I saw her fly off on her glider with her boyfriend. What? Her boyfriend? <laughs> Kai. <laughs> oh my god, yes, the boyfriend. Yeah, that's how a father would react. The Earth Queen and her fancy friends pay big money for bison steaks and other weird meat. Maybe I can send a message. Uh, oh. Yes, I mean, Janora is just so OP. Go find Boomju. Gosh. In trouble. That's a beautiful creature. No, I don't think I should apologize. <laughs> I'm just not cut out to be an airbender. No. <laughs> That's so adorable. <laughs> this is so bubbly. Go, 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 go. Come on, this is the you, this is the chance for Boomy to step up. To go get her. How do you know? Bumju's friend told me. You were able to communicate with the spirits? More or less, I get the gist. Let's go. <laughs> So sincere. I don't want to get into trouble. Master Tenzin Go. isn't here. It's up to us. Iki and Milo, grab some bison. Airbenders, move out. Okay, military guy leadership. I'm sure with this, they could prove themselves. I haven't been training that long. That's not important now. Let's go. Remember how we persevered together on the obstacle course? You actually quit. <laughs> That's true. We're airbenders, and there aren't many of us, so we've got to stick together. Mm. They've got two of our own in cages out there, and we're not leaving until we bring them home. Oh my god, this is the first march of the airbenders. Oh god. Ooh, let's go! Ooh. Ooh. Oh gosh, earth versus air. Was that some kind of spidey sense? <laughs> go. Let's go. No, Jinora. Come on, Kai. Oh my god, I love I love the music, the intensity. Let's go. I love the drums and everything. It's just so hype. <laughs> come on, come on, because he's a huge guy. But these are the huger guys, the bigger guys. God, it's so epic. God. <laughs> Take that. Oh my god, I love the personality that they're giving to the bison. You got me. I give up. 
take that. Yeah, you're kind of pathetic. Oh, the anger of this guy, yo. That's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. An airbender never attacks a defenseless opponent, but that was very good technique. <laughs> awesome, yes. Some teaching plus a good compliment. Well done, Tenzin. Could have dodged that net. I really felt it coming at me. You guys should totally get shaved. <laughs> oh, that's something uh, I'm kind of skeptical about myself. I guess I was just scared of not being able to measure up as an airbender. Yo. You know, even though I'm Aang's son, I never really felt like I was part of the Air Nation before. Oh, don't say that. You are now. Yes, yes, I love it. The bison are the original airbenders. They recognize their own kind. Oh. I'm sorry for running off. Loving this relationship. Perhaps I was too harsh with you. Does that mean I can get my airbender tattoos? <laughs> it's hard for me to believe that my little girl has grown up enough to have her tattoos. But I promise I'll think about it. I, I'm gonna absolutely love that look. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the baby bisons, just like the, that's just like the new airbenders are learning. Oh my God, I love the storytelling. Amazing, amazing episode. So cool. Even if it's not like a big stakes episode or whatever. Just see them training and this last scene was just a great parallel of the process of their learning. And I love that it felt so chill, but epic at the same time, this episode. It was, it was so well directed. I am so, so amazed and I, I'm just loving it. I'm really loving it. Okay, so that was episode seven of season three of the Liberator of Korra. Once again, for the seventh time in this season, I love this episode. I just realized that there was no Korra, there was no Saofu, and I didn't really miss them because just how em emotionally invested I was the whole way through in this episode. Great sense of direction, and the writing is so smooth. It really was an episode not just to show us that they are learning as airbenders, new airbenders, but they are showing us the most human aspects of these characters. I love that, yes, for the plot, they're showing us that they are training, they are learning, they're seemingly preparing for battle in the in later episodes, I suppose, because I think that's what's foreshadowing and even in some scenes at the end, like, you know, that speech by Boomy, I think that may be foreshadowing some epic final battle by the end of the season, that, that's what I'm imagining. But it's really focusing on the flaws and the virtues of these characters, particularly of Tencent, who really is one of my favorite characters of Korra. Really love how they are showing us like the funny side of him, like being this like this full, full metal jacket military guy. But at the same time, they're showing us through his relationship with Pema, with Jinora, with Bumi, that he's really struggling, that he has a certain ego. And despite all of that, he is willing to keep learning from his mistakes, even as a teacher. And I love that he's like developing these really human relationships with all of these people. They're not afraid to portray these characters as some as flawed people. And I love that they have these like little character arcs throughout an episode. Also showing us a little bit more of Jenora and Kai, which I insist is such a lovely young couple. <laughs> I mean, they're kids. It really has like this sense of Aladdin kind of romance because Kai really feels like this rebel. Jenora feels like she has like this higher aura around her, you know, given that she is really talented and really good at what she does. And I love also how Jenora is like really looking forward to be a master. I cannot wait to see that. That should be really, really exciting because she's so good. Still, she is vulnerable even in this battle that, I mean, she is not invincible. She's someone that, I mean, she's just a kid. And Boomy once again, I love how, I mean, yeah, he's funny. He's like also the another comic relief of this show of alongside Bolin, but he still maintains some seriousness with himself. He has some human struggles, not only with Tenzin, but that transcends his feelings about him belonging in this family. He never felt like the son of Aang, which is something is very sad. I love how they're still like keeping that theme, even 
you know, from season two, they are trying to live up to the past, but they still have to be themselves. They still have to be original. And on the other hand, I just love how the visuals, the scenery, the drawings, they stand out so much. I am watching this on a laptop, but when I get to rewatch this show, this this season in particular, I have to watch it on my TV and or when I buy a projector or something because this is it's a is just visually gorgeous. The direction, the intensity of this episode, even though it's like much calmer because it's not dealing with the main antagonist, it's not with dealing with Zahir, but some some weird savages over here. Still, it's intense, and that's because of the music, the way it's captured, the way it's told, and also I have to say, the, I love how they portrayed the bison here. They were were so menacing here. I never, I never seen them as menacing. Well, I don't remember Appa being that menacing in Avatar: The Last Airbender. He was like this cute little thing, you know. Even he, huge, cute little thing. But in this episode, they gave them such a presence. There are shots in this, in this episode. They, they felt like the aura and power of dinosaurs. It really felt like that, and I love it. I completely love that. I'm a, I'm a big fan of dinosaurs myself. And I cannot wait to see more. Honestly, it's it's gonna be real tough for me ranking these episodes. And I'm guessing episode 8 is gonna be focusing on Korra. So let me know guys what you think about this episode down in the comments below. And that would be it. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, please give it a like. And you may want to subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also join my Patreon for full uncut reactions. As well as access to polls for exclusive content only on Patreon. And also do first time watching movies, re-watching movies, other TV show reactions, and much more. And we'll see each other in the next one. See ya.